ano in incident. Is it fair to say that terrorism in in Holo, in Basilan, in in Central Mindanao, in, in these areas, that it is driven by poverty and lack of yes. lack of of jobs, right? Yes, I yes, mean, of course. Because unlike Indonesia, say where it is ideologically driven, here do you see that kind of yeah. Is, is development the cure for it? And if so, how do we get there? Well, uh, just like in, uh, in Holo, it has come to a point that the people don't want violence anymore, whether it's terrorism or political violence. What they want is for their children also to, to, to be able to study yeah. and to have a better life. That's why in, in Holo, our operations is not hampered because the ASG yeah. they are they have been pushed to the in the boondocks and in the jungle areas that's why when we hit them there are no collateral damages or civilians that we call the internally displaced people yeah. Yeah. in Mama Sapano the, the situation is quite difficult because their relatives their friends are part of the MILF and the part of the BIFF, so there's a new uh, there's a new strategy that we have to look into uh, and uh, to address the situation in Mama Sapano. Isn't that part of your strategy in the past anyway to separate the terrorists from the community? Yes. It's just, and then uh, the debate with Marwan is that he is he was sheltered by the MILF, but. Isn't Marwan also a special case because he was so embedded in the communities? Is yes. that correct? Could you tell us a little bit more about why yeah. he evade, how he evaded arrest for so long? Yeah, because he came in as a, a friend of the BIFF and the MILF. And he was able to teach them a, a, a cottage industry by making bombs. And now the bombs are being sold. If you have an enemy, you just buy a bomb to uh, buy, buy a bomb from them, and then you have it uh, detonated in yeah. front of the house of a if if a foe. So these are the things that we have to look into, and uh, we have to say to them that this is not we will not allow this. That's why we have to come in. So, but unfortunately, there's some cost. The, uh, uh, we would like to ask the the forgiveness of the people who are now in the evacuation centers. We have to do this just to make sure that what enemy are we after? Because after coming in, we now saw the, the they, it has become a terrorist haven in that area and also a, a, an IED factory. So mm -hmm. we will not allow that. We will have to in fact, we are asking another three days to move around and then, but I'll not pull out the troops. So what are your plans now? So you're asking